Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. Today we will be taking a look at the Awakened Soul Oracle by Ethany. So this is an indie deck and I think this was Ethany's first deck. The Awakened Soul 50 card oracle deck and guidebook. So let's take a look at it. Beautiful bumblebee detail on the inside of a magnetic closure box and you have here the guidebook. Now for the guidebook, um, my main feedback about this is the font. I don't like the font of this guidebook. I think it's a little bit too tiny. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Although it might be because I do have vision problems which make it difficult for me to read smaller text. But for others, well, probably won't be an issue. So let's just take a look at the table of contents. Um, so you have here the Awakened Soul, and then how to cleanse your deck, uh, ways to work with the Oracle deck. We have an Awakened Soul Challenge, how to use the guidebook, information about who is Gaia, some spreads, and of course you have the oracle cards and their meanings which also is listed here uh, so that you would can you can e easily go to the page that you need to get to it is alphabetically arranged so just taking a quick flip through at the guidebook i don't know is it just me that has trouble with this <laughs> font or maybe uh i think the worst is still for me the worst is still the um the Wandering Moon Tarot, the Wandering Soul Oracle uh, by Rachel Jean. So that one, I really could, the, the, it's really my eyes, okay? Nothing, no, uh, it's not really the fault of the creator. It's just my eyes, it's really bad. Um, but that one, I really couldn't read. It's like, so I had to contact the creator. This one, I could work with, I, I, I could work with. It. I wish it was bigger, but I, at least I can kind of read this text. Um, so at least for each of the card entries, you have here a picture of the card. It is not in color, but you do have the Awakened Soul story, the meaning, and then you have a shadow meaning, an affirmation, and personal reflection. So it's pretty good for um, an oracle deck, you know, because it gives you a lot to, to think about, which I think is really um, is one of the advantages of having an oracle deck because it goes by its own system and you can really make it um, your own. Now, now for the cards. So I wish there was a ribbon, but we can just tilt that to the side. And then you have here a card from Ethany. Okay, let's just put this to the side and let's take a look at these cards. They are silver gilded and beautiful bumblebee detail at the back which is reversible now these are um big cards let me compare it with the naked heart tarot in comparison to a standard tarot size it is much bigger and wider so yeah okay so these are no longer in order because i have used this deck uh but I'll just set up for the flip through and we can take a look at all of the cards one by one. I forgot to mention the card stock. It is matte and uh, not too thick. It's the perfect, uh, it actually feels really great in my hand. It's just that it's really quite big. <laughs> so later on, I'll see, I'll show you uh, how I struggle with shuffling this deck. But anyway. So each card is borderless and it has a keyword at the bottom, which is very useful if you don't really want to use a guidebook and you can just get, um, get a message from the keyword that is on the card. This one, Surrender, it is one of my favorite cards on this deck, in this deck. It is one of my favorite cards in this deck and we have these uh, whale sharks that we call here in, in the Philippines. They're called butanding. And I did get a chance to swim with some of them in the past. Uh, and although the ones that we saw were quite small, you can, you, know, you can just imagine 
the size and it's when you realize that you are just one small part of this bigger bigger ecosystem and you know you just have to surrender to that moment i, I love that card we have here as well unplug it's very modern the art and i love the art style for this particular deck uh, Ethany, I think as of now, has released a couple of decks. And this one has my favorite art style. But I think that my favorite deck of hers would be the Bad Bitches Tarot. <laughs> oh, this is great. Meditate. So actually, I do also have a little bit of trouble reading the keywords here. Uh, but again, that's due to my eyes my vision so I have I just have to bring it up closer no oh. there is a story here um, in the Philippines so this says knowledge and it was a viral photo about um, a, a street child who was reading and studying by the light of a, a street light outside of a particular fast food restaurant here and this this card um, really makes me think about that and makes me feel about all the people who don't have access or easy access to education but still try, you know, to learn and to gain knowledge. And that is just amazing to me and inspiring. And, you know, if I could, I, I do try my best to help them. And it speaks a lot, that particular card, which is why this this particular deck... You know, some of the images here really speak to me, I guess, is all I have to say. Fine. And it's very diverse, which I love. There is body diversity, you know, um, there is hints of LGBTQ um, in this deck, which, again, I love. I'm very supportive. Um... Of diversity in decks you know I realized how important it is to see yourself represented in the decks that you use at least for me I only read for myself and sometimes for friends and family but I do love the representation and I do find myself having some trouble with decks that let's say are too body beautiful or, or you know and I appreciate creators who do have more diversity in their decks and Ethany is one of them desire you know there's a lot to to gain intuitively from this deck I love it I know that I <laughs> I know that I usually try to not you know give too much of my opinions because it might sway um it's my it might sway you to to get the deck even though you're not particularly called to it because of how uh, at least some youtubers are how excited they are about particular artwork but I, I guess right now i'm really just sharing my experience with the deck what i feel about this deck and I'll tell it like it is. <laughs> if I like something, if I don't like something about the deck, I'll just let you know. And then, you know, just you can make your own opinion of whether you can you should purchase the deck or not. If this calls to you. And judgment. Okay, so I zoomed out a bit to show you how this shuffles and again these are massive cards they are bigger than my hand so I definitely cannot shuffle them or at least very I cannot I can't shuffle them this way the way I usually refill shuffle my decks uh, I did try to shuffle them um, at the corners I think Ethany kind of does this 
where she shuffles it this way and lets it fall like that. Uh, but that's it doesn't feel comfortable for me. So what I do is I do it this way and um, it, it kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> Not to, you know, the mix isn't that great, but it's better than nothing, right? So uh, you would notice that there is a bit of a bow with my deck. I don't know if it's because of the way I shuffle it. Uh, I could be a little more gentle, I suppose. But I think that initially when I was really struggling on what shuffling technique would work with this deck because it was so big, um, that maybe I did kind of force it a little bit. So, you know, not, it's not really a problem. You can just shuffle it the other way so that it straightens itself out. But just wanted you to see that. So the gilding, well, uh, it's not the, my favorite type of gilding, but it doesn't really hurt the hand, so it's fine. I can't, again, it's a bit difficult for me to side shuffle because of the size of the cards, uh, but you can do it this way. Okay, and as always, let's, Pick a card to read. It's, it, it's kind of awkward the way I shuffle it because I don't usually shuffle cards this way, but it is what it is. And you know, I just read, oops, I just read for myself, so it's perfectly fine. Okay, so we will be reading for Oh, Compassion. <laughs> I can barely see. I'm almost blind. Okay, so let's zoom in and let me just take the guidebook so that we can read the entry for Compassion. Alright, so since I am finding it difficult to read the text on this guidebook, uh, I'll probably just trip over my words. Instead of reading it out loud, I will just show you the entry on the guidebook and please feel free to pause and read through the entry. I'll probably just uh, take a look at the, the awakened meaning and the affirmation because th those are short enough for me to read. <laughs> but anyway, the awakened meaning. This is a gentle call to understand your impact on the natural world, to recognize your impact on each other, our planet, and yourself, to minimize the damage done and to tread lightly. So that is the message for, uh, for this card and the affirmation or maybe just a personal reflection. How can I pay forward my gift of kindness and compassion? So it can be a journal prompt. It can be something that you uh, think about and meditate on the, that particular message and um, personal reflection. So yeah, the guidebook is quite nice. Again, I just wish that the, the text is a bit bigger. The artwork is stunning. Uh, I have no words about the artwork. It's really, it's really beautiful in my opinion. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll, I'll leave that because it holds particularly special meaning for me. And yeah, this is the Awakened Soul Oracle by Ethany. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I do post videos at least once a week and I'll see you again next time. Bye!